I have got a really nice demo here that's going to uh, bring to life some of the concepts that we just learned about in lecture about how the pressure inside a fluid works. So this demo is called Pascal's Vases after a famous physicist named Pascal. So what we have here is one, two, three, four glass vases and they're all open at the bottom and connected to this horizontal glass tube. So if I pour liquid into one tube, it can run down to the tube, run across horizontally, and then start filling, going, moving upward, filling up the vases and, and raising the height of the liquid in each of the vases. And so my question is, once I start pouring liquid in, and if I pour in a lot and then stop, once the fluid comes to rest, what will the height of the fluid be in each of these, each of these configurations, each of these vases? Will it all be the same, or will one vase have a higher level of fluid than another? So here's the first vase. That's the narrow one on the right-hand side, just straight vertical, narrow in cross-section. The second vase starts out with the same narrow bottom, but then bulges out in the middle and then has another bulge up here on the top. That's B. The third vase, vase C, uh, starts out just like the first one, narrow and vertical, and then takes a zigzag shape. Okay, and continues on. And the, that's C. And D, vase, is the one that has the much larger cross-section. It's probably a factor of three bigger in diameter uh, than, than each of these on the bottom. So, what I want you to do is think about this. When I pour the liquid in and it comes to rest, which one of these vases will have a higher level of height of the liquid? Or will they all be the same? So, if this one's the higher one, that's A, B, C, D, and E will be, they all come to the same height. So take a minute and think about that and select your answer and we'll come back and see what the real answer is. Okay, now we're ready to reveal what the answer is. So I'm gonna shoot some of this uh, colored liquid into the wider vase and we'll see what happens. Here we go, here we go, it's a race. Now remember, I was very specific in what I said. I said, when the, when the fluid comes to equilibrium, which one will be higher? Because we, we, as we're forcing the liquid in, we might be forcing some up one than the other just based on the velocity here. We have to wait and see when the liquid comes to rest. And so, the answer is E. All the vases fill to the same height. And you might say, well, wait a minute, isn't there a whole lot more water in this vase? So its weight should be heavier? And shouldn't it be pushing down? No, because if you look at the formula we just developed, the pressure at the bottom of the fluid only depends on the height of the fluid above it. It doesn't depend on the cross-sectional area. That cross-sectional area A canceled out in our equations. So the pressure here at the bottom only depends on the height it doesn't depend on the cross-sectional shape at all. So even though they have different cross-sections, they all come to the same height. Okay. All right, good job, moving on.